Okay. Hey guys. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry if I sound nasally. I just got over being sick, so I am about to film my first video since I've been feeling better. Um, but I just wanted to film something and I thought that I would do a Vicky Vibes because everybody keeps asking me for a freaking Vicky Vibes video. So this is going to be my first uh, Vicky Vibes video in a while. But yeah, if you're wondering why I have a turban right now, it's because my hair is bobby pins sticking out. Wait, it's pin curled underneath all of this because I have my curly hair right now. And a lot of people are wondering um, how I did my hair curly. If you've seen my Instagram the past couple days, uh, I have a tutorial already on my channel. I've actually done a tutorial three times on how I curl my hair. It's the same way. I always do the same way. I just use a small barrel curling wand, curl it all over. Um, today's Vicky Vibes, I'm just going to be talking about confidence, self-confidence, loving yourself, how to be happy with yourself, all that stuff. I get asked about this so much and unfortunately confidence and self-love and self-appreciation and all of that, loving yourself and stuff, that's the, that's really something that can't be taught. I can't teach you guys how to do that. Confidence is just something that you just have, you know, either you have it or you don't. Um, I'm using Smashbox Primer Water. You guys know this is my fave right now. I love that stuff. There's really no way that you can have confidence unless you just decide to have it um, and what I've noticed myself is that loving yourself takes time and not only does it take time but it's a daily thing it's not like one day you just wake up with confidence Ooh. it's not like one day you just wake up with confidence and it's there forever like no it's a constant struggle it's constant work if you're not careful you can spend so much time engulfed in social media and everybody's opinions and things like that that you forget your own opinion of yourself. And this is the thing that I don't like about social media and that's why I feel like my job is so hard sometimes because, um, what, what am I doing? What foundation am I using? Okay guys, I'm gonna use, okay first I'm gonna prime. Okay, so I'm using the Becca Ever Matte Pore Perfecting Primer. Love this stuff. Heavy duty stuff, but it does the job and it works like magic. It keeps me matte all day. Small amount to my T-zone area where I get oily. And you guys will like see my pores like magically disappear. Watch. So I'm gonna put that where I have really large pores. Should be these T-zone areas. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, lately on social media, it's become more and more hard for people to kind of like be happy with themselves, honestly. And I don't know about you guys, but the struggle is real out here in these streets because I don't know if y'all have noticed, but it just seems like the world is like convinced, trying to convince women that we don't look good the way that we normally are. Is that just me or is that like y'all too? Like everybody is telling you that you need to be thinner or you need to be bigger or you need to have more booty. You need to have more titty. You need to, I'm sorry, not titty. The internet is overly saturated with these women who have perfect bodies, but nobody really looks like that. Like nobody's born that way unless you're Am Breezy. Not everybody is built like that. And so I'm gonna use L'Oreal Infallible and I'm also going to mix that with my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. So I'm going to do two pumps of the All Day Luminous, one pump of the matte foundation. Ooh, that was a lot. My Artiste brush that I haven't used in ages, but you guys are probably like, where'd your Artiste brushes go? Guys, I still have them. I just, I haven't been using them because I don't know why I haven't been using them actually. I don't know about you guys, but I just find that People are so intimidated and they feel like they have to like live up to these standards 
that the world is trying to tell you you need to have but i promise you guys everybody is struggling okay nobody's perfect and if you think that somebody is perfect they're not there's something about themselves that they don't like i promise you everybody has something about themselves that they don't like and even if you had all the things that you wish you had would you be satisfied probably not most people the majority of people especially women all struggle with something we all have something that we're not you know a hundred percent in love with you know everybody has their flaws and insecurities and you know that's okay yeah everybody has something that they don't like about themselves guys it's not like we're all out here just perfect you know what i'm saying and especially for younger women who look up to some of us on social media i feel like we're not doing a good enough job of letting young women know that you can be happy being yourself. You don't have to want to look like all of these famous people who have these, you know, extremely abnormal shapes and figures and faces and their makeup is always on fleek and their hair is always laid. Girl, you don't know what these people go through to look like that, okay? like. Half these people don't have, weren't born with bodies like that. Half these people have on tons of makeup and they just know how to contour and highlight really well. A lot of us wear wigs, you know, it's, it's an illusion. And the illusions that people give nowadays are so like, they're extreme. By no means am I down talking anybody or anything or anything that they do because I myself, I wear makeup, I wear wigs, you know, I do, I do what I can, but <clears throat> definitely not a catfish I show you guys what I look like all the time so you guys know who I am without all this stuff but at the same time it, I feel like a lot of people feel like we're doing that because we don't love ourselves that's not true you know and I, I'm sorry if I'm not making sense and if I'm going all over the place but this is how I think it's not like we I don't love myself I don't you know, I don't love who I am because I wear makeup and all this stuff like that. That's not true. And I don't wear wigs because I hate my natural hair. Not true. I don't, you know, I, like that's, it's an accessory. Everything that I do is just to accessorize, you know? Like I don't do stuff because I hate myself. Like I don't put on a wig thinking, oh my gosh, I wish I had different hair. No, not really. I just, I wear wigs because it's convenient. Sometimes I don't feel like messing with this mop on my head. And I just want to look cute in five minutes instead of looking cute in three hours. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. If you want to spend hours, you know, working on your natural hair, girl, you better get into them flexi rods and that hair gel and that uh curling souffle. And you better work them natural hair products. You better do it. Do them faux dreads. Girl, if you want to do faux dreads, do faux dreads. If you want to get braids, girl, get you some braids, some Senegalese twists. Hook it up. I am more comfortable with straight hair and with wigs. That's just me. Um, you know, but that doesn't mean that I hate myself when I don't look like that. If that makes sense. I hope I'm making sense. But anyways, but my thing is, at what point can we draw the line and say the difference between... I'm not happy with myself and I'm happy with myself. I'm gonna use um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel. Um, a lot of us tell these young women, you know, hey, be confident, love yourself, love who you are. You know, you don't have to change for anybody. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. But then at the same time, we're telling them, well, I'm, you know, I want to change this about myself. I want to change that about myself. And I, like I said, I'm not talking bad about anybody. I've just noticed that it happens. And a lot of people give backlash because of that. They're like, well, you don't love yourself because you, you want, you know, butt injections. Or you don't love yourself because you want a boob job. You don't love yourself because you wear all of this makeup and you want to cover everything up. And you're, you want to get veneers and you want all of this, all of this stuff, you know, that people say just because you want to change something about you um i'm not on anybody's side in this case you know i'm not saying that either way is right but my personal feelings about this somebody were to ask me vicky would you ever get plastic surgery would you ever change the way you look 
permanently? I would say no, I wouldn't, only because I know that even though there's things that I don't like, I'm a moody, emotional woman, and some days I like the way I am all together, and then some days I'm just not happy with something. I mean, that's just normal. I'm, I'm an emotional female. Um, my body really isn't mine. My personal beliefs tell me that my body really isn't mine. This is just a temporary house. My body really isn't that big of a deal because it's only temporary. My husband is happy with the way I am, so that kind of reassured me. But even before I had a husband, even before I got married, I was always convinced that, you know, the good Lord made me this way, so I should just be this way. Like, I shouldn't fight who I am because there's something I don't like. I mean, if God wanted me to be flat-chested and skinny, gosh darn it, that's how I'm going to stay because obviously it keeps me humble. And, you know, best believe if I had the body, I would show it off. I would be vain and I would be, you know, using those things for attention. The things that I don't like about myself keep me humble, keeps me down to earth, you know. And it reminds me that I'm human. I have flaws, you know what I'm saying? And that's not a bad thing. That's how I deal with my insecurities, you know. I don't let those things um, affect my confidence and affect who I am as a person because I know that I'm like this way for a reason. I don't believe anything ever happens for no reason. I don't I don't believe that. And I'm like I said, I'm not talking bad about anybody because me and my YouTube sisters, we've talked about this. We've talked about getting boob jobs and stuff like that. And I told them, I was like, I mean, more power to y'all. Y'all want to do that? That's cool. And I have nothing against y'all if you want to do it. But, you know, in the field of work that I'm in, which is I am a wife and and I'm also a youth leader at my church. And of course I have a lot of younger women um, that look up to me and watch me. Um, and I don't, I don't, I can't really afford to sit up and say that I'm confident and then, you know, tell people that I love myself when I really don't. So if I spend so much time thinking about the things that I wanna change and investing time and money into things that I want to change about myself. Am I really loving myself? And that's the questions I kind of ask myself. And <clears throat> like I said, I'm not saying I'm not saying that anybody's wrong for wanting to change themselves or change the way they look. But if you spend too much time investing into those things, you can quickly and easily become addicted to yourself, changing yourself, wanting to look better and please people, um, you know, for your own personal gratification and satisfaction. I know for me, I have a limit. I have limits. I have limits on everything. I heard that if you use melon pigment as a highlight, it like makes your highlight super fleeky. And I didn't finish my eyebrows. Hold on. How did I forget to do my brows? Like who does that? Okay, I'm about to use a little bit of melon pigment. Very, very pretty pigment. Uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of that for my highlight. Pretty. I have limits on myself for everything. So I get to a certain point and then I have to stop myself. I'm very prone to repeating offenses because I am the kind of person when I find something that I like, I kind of stick with it. You know, some people have kind of like an addict gene. If I, if I find that something works for me or if I find that something makes me feel good, I will continue to do it for a long time and I go back to that thing over and over again and anything that reminds me of how good that something makes me feel I'll be thinking about it and going back to it all the time so I, I don't really do things that I know I could be addicted to like I had like I got addicted to ear piercings like I had to stop myself because I wanted so many at one point in my life, I wanted like all the way up my ear. I wanted a tragus. I wanted the inside. I wanted everything. I wanted my ear to basically just be a big old ball of metal. But my my parents were like, okay, Vicky, you need to stop because you know that you, you get addicted to stuff or out of control. And so I was like, you know what, parents, you write. I'm using Mary Luminizer right now. I know that I can't spend too much time dwelling on something because it'll become an addiction for me. And so people wonder why there's a lot of things that I don't do or a lot of things that I don't watch on TV, a lot of stuff that I don't really listen to as far as music goes. I don't 
I don't really watch TV at all actually. Um, there's a lot of movies that I can't watch. There's a lot of things that I can't do because I know myself and I limit myself. So even when it comes to like YouTube and blogging and you know social media, I have to cut myself off sometimes. Sometimes, oh, this is Milani. Sometimes I, you know, I know when I'm spending too much time on social media and I need to back that thing up. I could like dig myself into a deep depression. I'm thinking too much about things that aren't healthy, um, which could be spending a lot of money. I could, you know, I could get addicted to buying stuff and spending too much money. I could get addicted to looking at everybody's makeup and wanting to look like them and then I'll start hating my own face. Like, I, I take things to the extreme. I'm a very extreme person, but I know myself, so I keep myself guarded and I keep myself from getting there in order to keep my confidence and keep my self-esteem and all of that. I know when to cut myself off and I feel like so many people need to learn how to have that um, filter where they, they see something but they know how to stop themselves from going too far and digging themselves too deep. Because you can take it there really easy. It's really easy um, to go from zero to 100. You know, easily like depress themselves or make themselves feel not worthy or not valid by looking too much at what other people are doing, by what's popular, you know. Because, I mean, of course, at the, at the end of the day, you can only be you and you can only, you know, deal with the cards that you're dealt. And of course, there's always ways to make your life better and to make yourself more comfortable. But at the end of the day, you're you, bruh. And you can't be somebody else. You can't want everything that you see because, you know, there's a commitment level that comes with everything that you see. If it's not meant for you to have, that commitment is gonna be a little too hard for you to maintain. I know what works for me and I know that this is me and this is what, you know, the good Lord gave me. And I mean, if this is all that I've got, I've gotta be happy with it because I'm the only person in the world who has what I have, you know what I mean? So I have to represent it well. I have to, you know, I feel like everything we're given in life is a gift. Whether it be something you like or something you don't like, you're kind of just stuck being yourself. So even if you change everything about you on the outside, even if you know you change everything about the way you look, the way you dress, you can change everything about you, but on the inside, you're still gonna be the same person. And that doesn't mean that anybody will love you anymore. And you know, even if you say, well, I'm just doing this for me, well, that's cool and that's fine and that's all good but at the end of the day you know your confidence doesn't come from what's on the outside confidence comes from how you feel about yourself regardless of how much makeup you have on or how many breakouts you have or what your hair looks like or you know how big your butt is how big your boobs are you know how much you know leg gap you got thigh gap whatever it's called all of that at the end of the day it don't matter because we all go to sleep in the dark well most of us some of us use night lights but i don't use a night light just saying and when it's dark and nobody sees you do you love yourself that's what matters because if you don't love yourself nobody else will love you so you kind of have to be happy with what you got you know what i'm saying <clears throat> oh whoa buddy where did that come from? You can't really fight who you are. Like I said, you you can change everything about everything about you on the outside, but you're still gonna be the same person. I could gain 30 pounds tomorrow and have huge boobs and a huge booty. My feet could shrink and praise God. My feet could shrink and all the hair would fall out of my body. My fingers would get a little shorter and my hair would be in the cutest pixie cut that I've ever wanted it to be in ever in life, there would still be something that I would find that I did not like. Because guess what? I'm a human. And as long as I'm a human, there's gonna be something that I'm not satisfied with. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. I promise you there's nobody on this earth who is a thousand percent happy with themselves and with what they have. I promise you, even Beyonce has insecurities, y'all. She don't like her arms. She don't like her, uh, 
her legs or whatever she says she don't like. Don't even matter. Sorry if I hurt some of y'all in the beehive, but she ain't perfect and you know. Everybody's got flaws. So what's the point in dwelling on the things that you don't like and wasting your precious time that you're very limited to on this earth hating things about yourself when you could just learn to love it and then everybody around you would be happy because they see that you're happy. And I think our culture just deals with a lot, especially in America, we deal with a lot of contentment issues because we feel like we're so entitled to things. You know, I bet y'all don't know this, but there are people in other countries who are killed just because of the way that they look, you know? And we go around here hating our own selves and nobody is even, nobody is telling us that we're terrible people for looking the way we look or dressing the way we dress. We have so much freedom here that we take it for granted. Our country as a whole just needs to do a lot better with being content with what we have. We're so blessed, you know, even though America is not perfect by any means, but we are blessed to be able to be who we want to be and not be worried about somebody, you know, trying to come and kill us for that. You know, it could, could it be better? Yes. And I know the African American community is looking at me like, girl, there's so many racist people out here and all this stuff. Well, I feel like we spend a lot of time being negative when we can just take all that energy and put it into something, put it into something positive. I think I just have this outlook on life because I know that I'm really blessed and, um, and that life is too short to be worried about the things that you don't like. Um, that you can't change and the thing about confidence and loving yourself and loving your life and just loving all of the things that you have right now the only reason why I'm able to um, be so confident I know that my life could be so much worse you only get one shot at life you know what I mean so you might as well just live it to the fullest and not be so worried about the things that you don't like and be happy with the things that you do like you know what I'm saying um, you know, I hope sparks some conversation. Like I said, I'm not talking bad about anybody. I'm not, I don't want to ever sound like, you know, oh, Vicky thinks she knows it all. She thinks she got it made. She thinks everything is perfect. No, that's not the case. I just want y'all to know I struggle with confidence and self worth and loving myself. And I struggle with stuff too. I'm not out here thinking that I'm perfect because I haven't thought that for a while. <laughs> there was a point in my life where I was very conceited and somebody put me in my place, my husband. <clears throat> there were things that I didn't like about myself. Of course, I've always been insecure about my boobs um, and being skinny and all of that. But there was a point in my life where I was pretty healthy. Um, I didn't like a lot of things about myself, but there's a lot of more things that I loved about myself than things that I didn't like. So I spent a lot of time on Facebook kind of just, you know, putting myself out there and, you know, saying whatever I wanted and speaking my mind and being confident because I knew that that's all I really had. Um, my confidence comes from a place of defense. I got made fun of a lot when I was younger. I always felt like an outsider because I never really had a stable group of friends or a stable church family or I didn't really stay at a school long enough to grow up with people. A lot of the schools that I went to, I didn't fit in. Um, um, I forgot what I was saying, my camera cut off. My confidence came from a place of, okay, since I don't fit in, since nobody really sees the value in who I am, or at least I don't feel like they do. They probably did, but I, I didn't feel like they did. Um, I'm just gonna love myself and be, and be myself because that's really all I can be. And if y'all ain't gonna love me, I'm gonna love me. I went to I went to a lot of schools that didn't have good diversity, but each school that I went to had a different group that was dominant. So in elementary school, I went to two different elementary schools. The first one I went to was predominantly white. The second one I went to was predominantly black and Hispanic. Um, and then when I went to middle school, that school was predominantly white and Hispanic. And when I went to high school, that school was all white. I was the only black girl in my grade. I've been around a lot of different groups of people. And it's so funny because it felt like in all those years 
that if I went to one of those schools, I would fit in somewhere. Somewhere I would be surrounded by people who were like me. Anywhere I went, there was something about me that never really fit into those groups. And it really took a toll on my self-esteem when I got to middle school and started going through puberty, of course because I felt like, gosh, I've been to a white school, I've been to a black school, I've been to a Hispanic school, and none of those people I fit in with. And I think I was, I've was i always meant to be the outsider just so I can learn how to be around other people and still be myself and love myself. And that's one thing that I can say that I loved about being an outsider is that now I, I'm very self-sufficient and I don't have to wait for people to tell me that I'm beautiful to know that I'm beautiful. I think that so many people don't really see the value in 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 not fitting in and in not being like everyone else. The value in being yourself is very important because you could be inspiring somebody who doesn't have the ability to fit in. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I think I have to uphold a certain standard, not a standard that the world sets for me but a standard that I set for myself. I have to uphold my own standards because I am an inspiration to people like me who don't fit in. You know I get attacks all day and if you're a YouTuber you know what I'm talking about. You get attacked too. The comment section is a battle zone. Either you getting good stuff you're sent your way or you getting some crazy comments. And I think one of the most popular ones now is, am I a girl or a boy? Well, obviously I have a period. I talk about my flow all the time. So I think I am a female, but just in case you weren't sure, I got some tampons in my drawer if you want to check. But that's besides the point. That was a little, it's a little ricey, Vicky, a little ricey. You know, it, it gets frustrating because I don't, I don't, I shouldn't have to defend myself. Number one, I shouldn't have to for myself. And most of the time I don't, I just delete those comments because I know who I am and I know that I'm a, a beautiful young woman and I don't have to prove to anybody that I am a beautiful young woman. And my husband knows it and he lets, he makes sure that I knows it in every kind of way possible. So that works for me. Just in case you didn't know, my confidence does not come from what other people say or what other people think. Not even what my husband thinks. My confidence does not come from him. My confidence comes from knowing myself, you know? Um, and that's just a realization that I've had to come to over time. And it's been, it's been a work in progress. Confidence for me has always been a work in progress. I didn't just wake up one day and I was confident. It took time. Like I said, every stage of my life, every school that I went to, um, every stage of my life, there was a struggle. You know, when I was at the white school, I wasn't white enough. When I was at a black school, I wasn't black enough. When I went to my private school, I wasn't rich enough and I didn't have enough designer things. You know, I didn't fit in because I was the black preacher's kid. I mean, that was um, a rarity at my school within itself. I spent a lot of time trying to defend myself that didn't work. So eventually I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm just gonna be myself and love myself. And I think everything about me had been challenged to the point where I was so aware of who I was because of those challenges. I just ended up embracing who I was instead of fighting it because why do I spend so much time trying to prove myself to people when I could just be myself and they'll see who I am, you know? and they'll have to accept it, like it or not. I don't I don't wanna waste my time on this earth trying to prove who I am to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Just do me. I think what makes it hard for people to be confident and what makes it hard for people to love themselves is when they're trying so hard to be like somebody else or they're looking at other people or trying to be like other people so bad, you know, that they lose sight of who they are and they can't love themselves because they're so focused on everybody else. You cannot live your life like that. I promise, I've tried it, I know. This is what I feel bad about. Luckily, when I was growing up, we had positive role models on TV and you know, we didn't really have a lot of social media. So the people we looked up to were on Disney Channel and stuff. And those shows were so good. Like they taught you how to love yourself and how to be confident and to be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like they stood up for that. These new shows don't do that, and social media is killing, 
killing young girls man it's killing them it's making them think that they have to be something that they totally are not everybody wants to look like kylie jenner it's just really sad kylie jenner doesn't even look like kylie jenner so it's really sad and i just really wish people would learn to love themselves despite their flaws because your flaws make you who you are and you know if you change things about yourself don't let those changes make you feel like you're not you weren't already amazing in the first place we're all trying to get through in this jiggy jungle together so i don't know i hope my video made sense and i hope that i said things that make sense these vicky vibes are really not meant for me to <coughs> I don't like my lips. Hold on. I don't know, guys. I think I'm just gonna do yash. 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 These Vicky vibes are not meant for me to rant. They're not really meant for me to come on here and talk bad about anybody or make anyone feel bad for anything or preach to anyone. These Vicky vibes are meant to spark discussion and um, just kind of make you think about something that I was thinking about. You know what I'm saying? I just like to ramble. These are the thoughts that go through my head. I think my lips need to be exfoliated that's why but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um if you guys have any suggestions for my next video vibes please leave them in the comments um and if you guys have any comments that you want to make please do uh and i want to know what you guys think so i will talk to you guys in my next video and i love you and i will talk to you guys in my next video and i love you that's it Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a tutorial on this makeup look.